Hi, I'm Dr. Dennis Kim. I'm a board certified endocrinologist and a clinical assistant professor of medicine at UCSD. Uh, I'm also a principal at Medicon Inc. Um, uh, in the past, I've held positions at Amlin Pharmaceuticals as a medical lead for development and commercialization of Baeta, as well as being a chief medical officer at Entromedics and a senior vice president of medical affairs at Orexogen. Uh, my, most of my past uh, work has been involved in diabetes and obesity work, and as such, uh, IDOC has asked me to review some of the uh, latest scientific data that came out of the recent ADA that was held in, in San Diego, specifically with regards to diabetes and obesity. Uh, one of the things that I want to review today with you quickly is some of the data that came out of the bariatric group. Uh, one abstract is presented by more of a medical perspective, and the other abstract is presented by a surgical perspective. And what is showed in these, uh, in these abstract first is mostly in retrospective analysis, does bariatric surgery actually cure diabetes, type 2 diabetes, or does it just simply put patients in remission? And if so, how long does it take for patients to come out of remission? And using a retrospective analysis and uncontrolled basis, which is one of the weaknesses of these type of analysis, uh, using Roux and Y gastric bypass procedure, which is probably the more invasive of the procedures that's available in the bariatric world, a uh, large majority of patients do go into remission uh, from their type 2 diabetes after surgery. The analysis also showed after five years of follow up that patients, on average, about uh, 30 percent or just over 30, 35 percent of the patients uh, do uh, develop type 2 diabetes again uh, after having had these surgeries and that uh, maintenance of weight loss after surgery is a, is a major predictor of whether or not patients will uh, remain non-diabetic or develop type 2 diabetes again after surgery. The other uh, abstract which was uh, presented from a more bariatric surgeon perspective is again in a retrospective setting when patients are followed over long term um, after mostly ruin wide gastric bypass but few patients that were included with gastric banding procedure that similar uh, results were, were found that about a third of the patients will develop type 2 diabetes again in this particular um, in this particular abstract about 45 percent of the patients uh, had their diabetes resolved and another 45% of the patients had their diabetes improved but not resolved. Of course, uh, patients were mostly taking insulin and oral anti-glycemic or anti-diabetes therapy at the time of the procedure and uh, they had to be off of all diabetes medication to be considered cured of diabetes, if you will. So uh, the conclusion from these two abstracts is that um, Bariatric surgery certainly does help uh, with type 2 diabetes. In many cases, it can uh, put patients into, into remission uh, from, it, from being having type 2 diabetes and into being normal glycemic. But with time, uh, it seems like at least in five-year follow-up, patients, uh, about a third of the patients, especially if they re regain the weight, will develop type diabetes again. So one of the, the conclusionary statements from these abstracts was that uh, maybe perhaps we should be careful about calling these procedures a cure for that type of diabetes, but more a, uh, a remission type of uh, procedure for type 2 diabetes. Uh, for more information, if you'd like to find out uh, about general ADA as well as specific topics around obesity and, and bariatric surgery, please go on to www.idoc.org.